Hello mga Mactusias! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong mat body para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa mat. And for today's video, ang topic pa rin natin ay itong call sa ellipse. Pero this time, we are going to have its standard form and its parts. Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O sige na, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ng subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na like, na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number 4, determine the standard form of the equation on an, of an ellipse and identify its parts. After identifying, plot the coordinates of its parts and graph the equations in one rectangular coordinate system. Then determine what real life picture is in the graph. <laughs> Okay, kayo na mag-determine ha. Pero ang gagawin ko, magkahiwala yung uh, number 1 and number 2 ha. Kasi hindi kaya dito sa ating video. Okay, so for the general form, we have here 4x squared plus 64y squared minus 256 equals 0. Okay, so paano ba natin siya gagawing standard form? Ilipat si 256. Mga anak ko, dahil ito ay x squared, y squared lang, ang center natin dito ay 0 lang ha. Kaya medyo simple lang to. So we will have here 4x squared plus 64y squared. So ilipat natin si 256 magiging positive 256 na siya. And then, alam naman natin na dapat ito ay equals 1. So, para maging equals 1, divided, i-divide ito by 256. Ito, 256. Ito, 256 din. So, 256 divided by 256 equals to 1 lang siya. Ha? Teka. Kailangan pala ng mas malaking space. Okay, so, yung 4 over 256, ilo-lowest term natin, and that is divisible by 4. Okay, so, 4 divided by 4 is 1 lang naman siya, so, x squared na lang dyan, and then, 256 divided by 4, ilan? 256 divided by 4, that's a 64, so, that's over 64. Okay, plus 64 over 256 pag ito ay ni lowest term since yung 256 ay divisible by 64. So, 64 divided by 64 is y squared. And then, 256 naman divided by 64 ilan? Siyempre, 4, di ba? <laughs> oh, kasi nga, sila yun. Nagpalitan lang sila. Ayan, so 4. So, 4. So, kung... Ah, sorry. Ang standard form na natin ay ito. Pasensya na mga anak. Ngayon lang talaga ako nagka-oras. O, anong oras na? Tingnan nyo. Gusto nyo bang malaman? 1.27. Anong oras pa ako matatapos to? Kasi i-edit ko pa. Tapos i-upload ko pa. Kaya sana ay tsaga-tsaga lang sa pag mga mahal ko. Nape-pressure ako sa inyo eh. Okay. Now, we have year 64 and then 4. Dahil ang... Uh, mas mataas nating denominator ay na kay x squared. Ibig sabihin, ito ngayon ang ating a squared. At ito ngayon ang ating b squared. So, ang a squared natin ay equals kay 64. Pero ang hinahanap natin, a lang. So, square root ng a squared, cancel, cancel, a is equal to 8. So, you have your a as 8. Now, for our b naman, that is equal to, sorry, b squared is equal to 4. So, square root ng b squared, square root ng 4, so b is equal to 2. So, eto na ngayon yung b ni no. So, to find for our c, our formula is c is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared. Alam naman natin ang a squared natin ay ano? 64, and then yung b squared natin ay 4. So, 64 minus 4, square root nyan. Six, uh, 64 minus 4 is 60. So, square root of 60. Wala na siya, hindi siya perfect square, so wala na siyang square root. 
Now, for the orientation, dahil ang ating, uh, ang denominator ng ating x squared ay mas mataas kaysa sa denominator ng ating y squared, it means ang orientation na ay horizontal. Okay? And then, yung center natin ay 0, 0 lang, mga anak, ha? Kasi wala tayong H and K. Now, for the vertices, we have V1 is equal to A, tapos yung Y niya, 0. Since our A is 8, 8, 0 siya. For our vertices, yung second vertice, verti, vertex, uh, sorry, we have your negative A and then 0. So, negative 8, 0. For co-vertices, so, we have yung W. Ang W natin ay 0, B. Or yung uh, W1. So, we have here 0. Ano yung B natin? 2. So, 0, 2. And then, yung W2 natin is a 0, negative B. So, simple lang, 0, negative 2. Now, for our foci, Yung first foci natin, or yung first focus natin, is a C, C0. So, that is the square root of 68. I know, 60 pala. Teka. So, that is the square root of 60, 0. And then, for the second focus, we have negative C0. So, that is negative square root of 60, 0. And then, we plot. Okay? So, dahil lang center natin ay ito lang naman. So, yan lang naman yan. And then, we do, aha, ito muna, 8, 0. So, ang x natin ay 8 and then 0. And then, yung ating v2, vertex 2 is negative 8, 0. So, ayan ha, yung dalawa. And then, for co-vertices, we have 0, 2, and then 0, negative 2. 0, 2, 0, negative 2. Teka. V1, V2, W1, W2. And ang ating focus or foci, square root of 60. Ano yung square root ng 60 natin? 60, square root niya ay 7.75. So, 7.75. Niround off ko na ha. 0. And then, negative 7.75. 0. Approximate na lang natin ha. 7.75. Gitna ng 7 and 8. O, dito ko na lang ilagay. And then, dito naman. Okay, maliit kasi yung space ko mga anak ha. Kayo na mag-adjust dyan. And then, we draw na yung ellipsis natin. Sana makaya ko mga anak ko. Ayan. Sana matagpuan nila ang dapat nilang matagpuan. And then, and then, shape format. Wait lang ha. No fill. Okay. And, teka, wait niya. And ayan, ang graph natin sa ellipsis natin for number 1. Now, for number 2, sige, ituloy natin. Wait lang, ha? So, for number 2, we have 144x squared plus 9y squared minus 1,296 equals 0. So, ang center nito ay 0, 0 ulit, ha? Kasi may x squared lang tayo sa y squared. So, ilipat lang ulit natin si 1296, kaya meron kang 144 x squared plus 9y squared equals to magiging positive na siya. 1, 2, 9, 6. And then, divide by 1, 2, 9, 6 kasi dapat maging 1 yan. 1, 2, 9, 6. 1, 2, 9, 6. Okay? So, this is 1 na. Let's lowest term 144 and 1, 2, 9, 6. Tignan nga natin kung yung 1, 2, 9, 9, 6 ay, sorry, divisible by 144. 1, 2, 9, 6 divided by 144. So, that's right. 9. So, we have here now x squared over 9. 
plus, dahil yung 1, 2, 9, 6, pag dinivide kay 9, 144 ang magiging answer. So, y squared is 144 lang yung nasa denominator niya. Okay, and then, dahil ang ating denominator sa y squared ay mas malaki kesa kay x squared, eto ngayon si a squared, eto ngayon si b squared. So, since we have a squared is equal to 144 to find for a, we just have to get the square root of both uh, sides. So, we have 12 here. So, ang a natin ay 12. For b naman, so we have here b squared is equal to 9. Square root ng b squared, square root ng 9. Cancel to. b is equal to 3. Okay, for our c naman, we just have to have c is equal to a squared minus b squared. Square root nila. Ang a squared natin ay 144 and then 9, di ba? 144 minus 9, square root. So, what is 144 minus 9? That's 135. Tama? So, this is a square root of 135. Dahil wala lang square root ang 135, okay na muna tayo dyan, ha? Bakit A to? This should be C. Aha. Mga anak mag-aalas dos na o. Check nyo. Ay, nakikita nyo ba? Ay, hindi nyo makikita pala. So, it's 2 a.m. na. Ayan, no. My God, di pa tapos si Teacher Maria dito sa mga videos, no. Okay, dahil mas mataas nga yung y, uh, denominator ni y squared, it follows na ito ay vertical yung horizontal, ah, uh, yung vertical yung orientation na. Ha? Ulit, dahil ang y squared ay, ang denominator ng y squared ay mas mataas kesa sa denominator ng x squared, vertical yung orientation niya. And then, yung center natin is a 0, 0. Now, ano ang vertices nito? Magkaiba sila nung ano ha, nung, ano nung sinabi ko kanina. Depende kasi kung ano yung orientation niya, kung paano magiging formula nyo para sa vertices and co-vertices niya. So, this time, you have V1 equals to, yung X naman yung 0, and then A. So, dahil ang A nyo dito ay 12 ba? 0, 12. Tama ba? A nyo ay 12. Okay. And then, for V2, you have 0, negative A. So, this is 0, negative 12. For co-vertices, you have W1. This will be B0. And that is 3, 0. 3, 3, 3, 3. Tama. And then, for WW2, you have negative B0. So, this is negative 3, 0. Okay, for your foci, you have 0, C for the first focus. And then, for the second focus, you have 0, negative C. So, ang C natin ay square root of 135. So, 0, square root of 135. And then, ito ay 0, negative square root of 135. Then, let's graph. Dito na natin i-graph, ha? Okay. Ano ang center? 0, 0 pa rin. Ang vertices natin. So, 0, 12. Dahil hanggang 10 lang to. 10, 11, 12. So, nandito siya. And then, 10, 11, 12. So, nandito naman yung isa. And then, ano naman yung ating... Aha. Ay, sorry mga anak ko. <laughs> 0, Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Ayan kasi madaling araw na. 0, 12. Dapat kay Y tayo nag-graph. Sorry, sorry. 0, 12, ha? Next site lang. Dapat nandito 0 yung X, tas 12 yung Y. 11, 12. So, nandito dapat tayo. And then, negative 12. So, nandito yun. Okay? And then, yung ating cover this says is 3, 0. So, 3 yung x, 0 yung y. So, nandito siya. Teka. Ito ay v1. Nung second graph na to ha. And then, v2. So, ito ay w1. Tapos, yung isa 0, negative 3. w2. And then, ano yung foci natin? Square root of 135. Elan? Aha. 135 squared. 11.62. 
So, 11.62. Ito, negative 11.62. Nasa gitna ng 11 and 12. So, approximate na lang ha. Nandito yon Saka, nandito. Okay. And then, we draw. Teka, insert this one. So, dapat matamaan natin lahat ng dapat tamaan. Ayan. Sana natamaan sila. <laughs> ah, teka. Ayan ba? Nasakto ba? Natamaan bang dapat tamaan? Hindi pa. Tamaan nyo, ha? <laughs> Tatamaan nyo yung mga points sa mga anak. Baka kung ano matamaan nyo dyan. Okay. So... Teka, ano ba ito? Shape formula. Lang, anuhan lang natin. Tapangan lang natin ng onti. Ayan. So, ayan yung naging graph natin kung nasa isang graph sila. Sana ganyan din yung kinalabasan ng sa inyo. Ngayon, kung natulungan ko kayo sa video nito, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section, mga anak ha. Help me up this video by leaving a comment. And syempre, don't forget to share. Please i-share na agad-agad pagkapanood nyo para may guide din yung mga classmates nyo. And please don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page, Love Ma TV. Sige na mga anak ha. Napapagod na si Teacher Maria. Kaka-remind. And laging tandaan, let's spread the love of Ma. Thank you and bye!